Hi everyone! So, I know this looks like a vlog, but it's not. I'm actually, um, today's video topic is going to be all about, I'm going to be waterproofing my new Chanel 19 bag. Yes, <laughs> so if you haven't watched my unboxing, please go check that out. Um, I will link it below. But yes, so I got it in my head that I really want to waterproof this Chanel 19 bag because one, the lambskin is very like soft on it. I've never waterproofed any of my leather bags before. And then second, I actually saw somebody on Instagram. I can't remember her username, but I will leave it on the screen and down below. Um, but I saw somebody do this on Instagram and with her Chanel 19 bag. And she also had like a lightish color bag. It was like a light gray. And she said that it like worked fine. She videoed it and it looks great. So I wanted to do it. And the reason why I'm filming on my iPhone is because as you guys may have seen in that um, Chanel 19 unboxing, my camera kind of washes out all color. So the bag color doesn't look um, like it's not its true color on camera. So I'm filming it on my iPhone so that we can see the true color to see if, you know, the color changes or anything, which I'm hoping not. <laughs> but um, this way we can kind of like, you know, analyze it and really see in detail um, if this bag is changing at all after I waterproof it. So yes, let us do that today. Please wish me luck. I'm very nervous, but I'm very excited as well. So this is what I'm using to waterproof it. So it's the Carbon Pro from Kano Kalo Nail, and it's a um, it says high tech weather protector, and on the back it says that um, it's protection for all material with carbon technology, long lasting effect against water and dirt. Um, and then it says spray in a distance of 12 inches and then allow to dry, polish, and smooth leather afterwards. Okay, so I, okay, I'm going to do kind of what I saw this girl do on Instagram, but I wanted to show you guys that I did do a test. So let's look at the test real quick. All right, so I decided to test out the Carbon Pro on the inside of this shoulder strap because I figure um well this one rubs my skin the most and I definitely want it waterproof because like during the summer like right now I'm sweating a lot and I just don't want to damage the leather and I figure if it does change color it's fine because it's on the inside of the bag and I sprayed this maybe I want to say five days ago and as you can see there is no difference in the leather from here to here so I, I just sprayed it once, like one layer, and yeah, there really is no color difference, so I don't think that it damaged the bag in any way. So that makes me feel a little bit more confident to spray the rest of the bag, but I'm still very, very scared. All right, guys, I have decided to come outside to spray the bag. Um, this is just, you know, outside of my little patio area, so sorry if you hear all the traffic noises. But yeah, so here's the bag now, and I'm just gonna check one more time just to make sure that the color didn't change in the sunlight. Yeah, definitely looks fine. And I just came outside because I, um, there's like a little bit of a smell, although, yeah, um, when I try to smell the strap now, the smell doesn't stick to the leather, at least. Um, from what I can tell, but yeah, there is a little bit of a smell, so I don't want to do it indoors. All right, so I'm just going to shake it up, and then it says to spray about 12 inches away, so let's see. I feel like if I'm here, I know you probably can't tell on camera, but I think this is about a foot away. Okay, I'm so nervous right now, but wish me luck. All right, so I literally just finished spraying it, and this is what it looks like right now. Um, I mean, it still looks pretty good. There's no, like, residue. There's no, 
like staining even though I feel like I just guessed on the um, like coverage I didn't really you know get too accurate with how I was covering the bag but I did make sure I sprayed the front and the sides and the back and also the bottom of the bag so I might give it one more coat after this but I'm gonna let it dry for 24 hours and then um, tomorrow I'll come back and we'll do it again all right so I'm back it's actually been more than 24 hours but I haven't been able to find time to do the second layer so I'm about to do one more layer and I think that'll be good for the waterproofing So I just sprayed one more layer on there. This is what the back looks like now. I think th it looks great. I mean, I can't see that there's any discoloration. I think that um, the waterproofing didn't like affect the color at all. I just wanted to come show it in a different light too because it just bothers me how much it looks different in different lightings. Like outside it looked kind of purple, but this is like the true color. And I've asked a couple people who have seen this bag in person or actually have this collection or bag in person and they also agree that this right here is what it actually looks like, like the true shade of pink. So I'm gonna wait maybe another 24 hours and then I'm gonna run this part, this is the strap part, through water to see if it actually is waterproof. Um, I'm kind of worried about this so that's why I'm gonna do with this little back part. Um, to test it out but yeah so we shall do that in 24 hours all right so it's been about a day since i sprayed my bag for the second time and as you can see the color still looks really great there really is no discoloration at all just showing you around the size of the bag i think that it looks good so let's run it under the water to see if it's actually waterproof all right so i'm very scared for this part but i guess here we go for the moment of truth I'm going to just dip this little strap part in and see what happens. Whoa, okay, so it looks like the water is just running off pretty easily. As you can see there, it's not like sinking in or anything. Okay, actually, so that second time that I did it, do you see the water did sink in a little bit? So I'm going to see what happens when it dries um, to see if it goes back to the original color. I actually have um, like gotten rain and water on my other lambskin bags before, specifically my Chanel Trendy Sea Ski, and it has gone back just fine even with waterproofing, so let's just see what happens. I didn't expect to see um, the water go through like this, so I might not have sprayed this part enough, but I do feel like at the same time I did spray my bag pretty good. Alright, so I let my strap dry completely, and as you can see, the watermarks have disappeared. Um, I don't know how long it was drying for, I actually got caught up and didn't even check how long that took, but yeah, the watermarks are all gone, so I would say that the waterproofing worked. Sorry, my baby's on me now. But yeah, so on one hand, I would say the waterproofing worked because um, there was no damage to the leather after I had, um, you know, pretty much drenched it in running water, but at the same time, I, like I said, um, have had water go on my trendy CC, which is also a lambskin before, and it also dried up just like that. So I'm not sure if the waterproofing is doing anything. If anything, it's just peace of mind so that in case I do get stuck in the rain, I know that um, my bag will probably be okay. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. If you have waterproofed your bags or sprayed your other leather bags before with something else, please let me know as well. I would love to try out different products to see what works best. Um, it was really scary, but I'm so glad that I did it. And now I know that <laughs> it's okay to, you know, waterproof and spray your bags. Um, I do really want to try other brands though. So if you have other um, sprays that you've tried that have worked successfully, please let me know. And I will leave exactly the one that I used in this video down in the description box below as well. So yeah, thank you for joining me in this video and I will see you next time. Bye!